In this tutorial, I'd like to cover how to copy a portion of your animation in Akitsu to a new or different animation. In this case, I have this, um, this little character here, and she's got this nice little swishing ponytail motion that I want to copy over from this run animation to this sprint animation. I don't want to have to recreate this thing from scratch. So how do I just copy just the ponytail information? Well, the best way to work in Akitsu and in, in any um, animation program is to obviously work in, in essentially a layered animation approach. And that can be found here in the concept of stackers, which are essentially the animation layers uh, in Akitsu. And they're found here in the mixer panel. And I have isolated my ponytail motion and a bit of a head bounce motion and, and so on. I have these others here that I have created. And um, keeping it um, separate like that is the ideal way to do it. And if you if you haven't done that, if you've got all your animation done and you've got it crushed down into one uh, stacker here, that's not the ideal way to work. But if you need to, just select the bones in the interface here and click on the um, stacker extract button, and that'll get that ponytail um, data out and away from all, all the rest of it down here. But that's really the, uh, the topic of another tutorial, perhaps, um, the more, you know, how to work with this, this mixer window. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and assume that you've, you've got your isolated animation and you want to just go ahead and copy it and paste it. Here, here's how we do that. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the bones that are relevant to what I want to copy and paste here. In this case, it's my ponytail bones. Got them selected here. Let's go down to our ponytail uh, layer here, the ponytail stacker here in our animation um, panel. Right click and let's select all of our keys first of all. Select all following keys. Select the first one. All following keys will select all the rest of them. Now we go up here and where it says copy selected key trans keys transformations. You can just go ahead and hit copy here or you can control C on your keyboard. Now those keys are copied and um, we're going to go over to our other animation here, the sprint. These Bones are still selected from the previous animation. That's nice that it didn't forget what we were selected here. Uh, I want to create from these bones a brand new stacker there on top of everything else. And let's go ahead and hit the plus button here for create new stacker. It creates a new stack uh, which only contains those ponytail bones. I'm going to go ahead and call it ponytail. There it is. And turning this hammer icon off, I can see that only my ponytail bones here are present in this new this new layer or this new animation layer or stacker. And now that I've got that, it's a simple matter of going down here, making sure my first key and my ponytail stacker up here, my layer there and uh, is selected. And once it's selected, paste after selected keys in the transform panel. And what that did is it pasted all of that swishy animation data after that first frame. However, the first frame is still that unanimated straight out keyframe that I want. I don't need that anymore. I'm going to right click on it, remove keys. Now I got to move these over, right click and, uh, on the this first key of the actual swishing animation, right click, select all following keys, drag it over to the, to the beginning here, and now there's all my animation data. Now I want to make sure and create a, a loop, uh, activate loop mode for this particular stacker, and there it is. It created this, this looping keyframe. Now if you're not familiar with that, all this is is essentially it's a sort of a reference to a non-editable reference to this first keyframe so that it creates a perfect little loop between um, the end and the beginning. And uh, now what that does is it created it way out here. It just it keeps you her guesses uh, as to how much space you want to have there. I'm just going to go ahead and shrink that down so it's consistent with the rest of these more or less. And, uh, and that's not always going to be the case where you can do that. But just try to do your best to kind of get it roughly about where you're looking for to where it between the end frame and the beginning frame is, a, is, a, is the right amount for your animation. Now that that's done, we see here there's a little bit of a problem that creates, and that's this hitching. And that's simply because Kitsu is, is playing the, the full the sum total of all the animated, uh, all the, the, the different stacker layers here, and it's it plays all of them out to the length of their longest um, set of keyframes, your longest stacker, and that's this first one that we just created. What I want to do is this animation before I started messing with it was only 24 frames long. It's a sprint. It's much faster. So all I have to do here is rescale the animation, and all animation packages have got some way to rescale the animation, and it keeps is no different. Um, what you want to do here is go up here to your stacker panel, and this is a handy little button here which is quickly selects 
portions of your keyframes. This is um, a vertical representation of all your keyframes, keyframe one, two, three, and so on. Um, I don't, um, see, if you click on this first rectangular button here, it selects all of them. This smaller one on top selects the top half, roughly, and the bottom half. We want all of them selected. This is where this little um, entry field here is where you enter in the overall length that you want all of the frames to come to be. And since these are all consistent, I'm going to go ahead and just put in 25 frames. That gets me pretty close to the 24 that I'm looking for. It took all the five, six frame gaps and shrunk them each by one, so they're five frame gaps between our keyframes. <laughs> nice even you can see if you look down here again this is before I did it and it shrunk it down you see that down here my last loop keyframe is just one long I'm going to just drag it here so it's consistent with the rest of my end frames so now the swishing motion should be 24 frames and look there you go isn't it delightful so um, now it's the right length and it looks pretty good if I wanted to keep on editing it I can go ahead and do that here on the ponytail layer again I can't stress enough it's really a good idea to work in this sort of layered sort of means because you can create a single um, run and you can combine it with other things like him jumping or pole vaulting or whatever you want to do your character um, work in a layered uh, you take full advantage of this of this mixture panel and the stackers it's an incredibly powerful feature keep those things separate whenever you can and only mash them together uh, down again and merge them if you really feel like you have to but um, anyhow how that's a great way of recycling pieces of an animation from one to another and it'll uh, it'll save you a whole lot of time and headache. And uh, I hope that was helpful to you. Thanks a lot for paying attention, and and have a great day.